Hello, I'm Stan Boney. You will find the former Welsh Congregational Church on Elm Street in Youngstown, right next to St. Columba Cathedral. It's the city's oldest church, built in 1861. It is owned by the Catholic Diocese of Youngstown. After five years of unsuccessfully trying to save the church, I learned today that the diocese now plans to demolish it. Demolishing an historic church. It is our top story at 10. The announcement came today from the Youngstown Catholic Diocese on what will happen to the 161-year-old Welsh Congregational Church. But after a long process, the, at this point, um, the plan is to, is, to, is to demolish the building. The building is in poor condition. The paint is peeling. Its windows are boarded up, except for three above the main door, which are open to the elements. For five years, there was a concerted effort by many people to save the church. In fact, there was a plan in place. We all got together and decided that the new place to move the church would be next to the Steel Museum. The Steel Museum can easily be seen from the church. It's maybe 600 feet away. Youngstown Cityscape had devised the plan and had money donated to move the church and renovate it. It's basically directly across the street. Um, Cityscape has the funds to make it happen. They have a place to put it now. But the plan came after a November diocesan deadline. And according to diocesan spokesman Justin Hike, did not include a viable plan to ensure the building would not perpetuate blight in another area. There's a lot of details that were not um, given, especially regarding how to pay for refurbishing it and what that time frame might look like. I think they've been more than fair over the time, and it's been a long time for that property to be there. Youngstown Mayor Tito Brown understands that it's become a nuisance, and it's time to remove it from the neighborhood. I support what they are deciding to do. They're removing the blight from our community, um, and they're the owners of the property. Disappointed. That's the, that's the first. Youngstown Councilwoman Samantha Turner was a vocal proponent of saving the church. So it's great. It's going to be a green space. That, that's all really nice, but we are yet losing another piece of the history of Youngstown, and we cannot continue on this path. The green space that Samantha Turner just referred to was what the diocese has planned for the land once the church is removed. It owns the parcels along Elm between Wood Street and Ray and Avenue and plans to refurbish it with something that most everyone can enjoy.